Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back for another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. Um, as you can see, today is a different kind of video. I mean, it's just chaos, isn't it? It's just chaos. This is why I don't film in this room because it normally looks like this behind me. But if you want me to come back and film in this room, please let me know because I kind of miss doing it. It just feels a lot more authentic, like, I don't know, I just miss that style of YouTube videos. I feel like now every fashion or beauty um, kind of blogger, everything is so perfect all the time. Like, that is not the reality. The room that I film in is not my normal reality. This chaos is. And I needed to film this video and I needed to upload it as soon as possible. And I just thought, do you know what? I'm sure you guys can deal with the background. So yes, apologies for that, apologies for the kind of lack of makeup and hair look that I've got going on, but I am on my way to the airport to go to Dubai in literally two hours, and I wish that I could pan you guys around so you could see my room, because it's hysterical. I have a suitcase that is so big, I don't know how I'm planning on getting this suitcase to like little islands in Bali. Any recommendations with that would really help a gal out because I don't understand how I'm going to get that suitcase to Bali but it will be fine. Uh, hey guys sorry for the random cut in this video I just wanted to jump on here really quickly and give you all a bit of context as to why um, a lot of what I'm saying in this video no longer makes sense. Um, this video was filmed the day that I left to go to Dubai and then fly on to Bali which I did do but as some of you might be aware that follow me on Instagram there's actually an earthquake whilst we were over in Bali on the next island in Lombok. Um, and to cut a super long story short, we ended up having to leave Bali. So every time I mention like, I might wear this in Bali, I might wear this in Bali, I just kind of wanted to jump in here and give you guys a bit of context. That's now relevant. It never actually happened. I was there for three days, not even before having to leave. I did end up going back to Dubai for eight nights. Thank goodness. So I had a holiday, but yeah it just doesn't make any sense anymore so i just wanted to give you guys a bit of context with regards to that the next video you will see from me will be my dubai vlog the first time around before we went off to bali then i think you'll see a quick little vlog of bali what i have of it um and probably an explanation as to why we left and just more of an updated video about what happened and then the following vlogs the next couple of vlogs will be dubai round two we were there for seven nights and i've got a lot more kind of detailed vlogs when i was there the second time around but yeah i just wanted to give you guys a bit of context as to this video and why it no longer makes sense so apologies for how i look i'm just wait, i've just woken up and i'm editing the video but also just quickly before we get into today's video i'm not filming with any soft boxes or lights um this is not going to be like a normal thing don't worry about it guys it's just that it's all packed away because obviously i'm going away for like three to four weeks so that's why i don't i'm not filming with any soft boxes i'm filming with natural daylight so i apologize if the lighting's a little bit funky but i needed to film today's video before i left today we're filming a pretty little thing haul as you guys know this is kind of becoming like a regular on my channel but i picked up a couple bits just before i decided to go away and i wouldn't know whether or not i should pack these goodies so that is why i'm filming it just before i go okay so i started with what i'm wearing the outfit that i currently have on is what i was planning on wearing to the airport but i'm not actually going to wear it now i am going to pack it and possibly wear it when i travel um from Dubai to Bali, but I'm not gonna wear this to travel to Dubai, just because I want something a little bit more comfy and cozy because it's a night flight and I don't really wanna wear shorts. But the shirt that I have on right now is one of the purchases and I will leave a link to everything below like I always do. By the way, if you also wanna see these items like photographed and how I style them, because I haven't had time to do that today, everything will kind of be styled over on my instagram i honestly upload like little pieces over there all the time so if you want to follow me over there you'll see these items styled up a little bit better anyway the shirt that i'm wearing today is called the it's called the sand oversized boxy t-shirt and i picked this up in a size medium um and it is boxy but it's not it's not huge like the boxy t-shirts from misguided are massive these are more like a boxy fit rather than an over a massively oversized adore the color it's such a lovely color it's like a long line t-shirt which i really like you can kind of tie it and just like wear it how you want so i actually love this um and it's just super handy and practical for me 
The next thing that I picked up is this silk shirt. This is called the White Satin Button Front Shirt. And if you guys um, ever watch Fashion Influx videos, you probably would have seen this styled over on her Instagram. It literally is what it says it is, a white satin shirt. I actually grabbed this in a size small just because I didn't want it to be too big because I wanted to be able to tuck it into shorts and things like that. Um, so that was why I grabbed it in a small. But I think this over the top of a lace bodysuit is going to look so, so pretty. Um, I have a lace bodysuit from Miss Pap that I'm already plan planning on styling it with. So I absolutely adore this this and I just thought white was kind of like a great colour for holiday so it's a perfect little holiday piece and they do this in loads of colours but yeah her videos have converted me to satin shirts I didn't think that was a style of like an item that I'd ever wear but I honestly think she looks amazing in them so I picked one up and we'll give it a go the next item I have here is actually a swimming costume and I'm guys you will see this on my Instagram I'm sure when I'm in Bali um it's so so lovely so it is a i actually think i got this in a 10 not a 12. did i get this in a 10 not a 12. yes i actually did and the reason i did is because i knew that i could adjust the top bit um but i knew if i i just i just felt like it's a swimming costume it's going to be stretchy it's like it's fine so this is what it looks like it is like two little triangles with purple straps um does it want to focus I don't think it I don't think it wants to focus um and then it has this kind of like stripy waist section which is actually super flattering because it really really pulls you in and it has a cutout but the cutout is in the perfect position for me because it's on my waist which if I'm gonna have cutouts on any kind of swimming costume it's probably gonna be one like this and then it goes like that now just so that you know the swimming costume cuts of Pretty Little Thing are quite high rise they definitely kind of go whoop like that so if that's something you're not into you might not like it but i actually think it's really flattering it elongates the leg um and this swimming costume is so amazing it's like a really thick material i wouldn't say it's neoprene but it is like a really thick material so it sucks you right in i even think this as a top with a pair of denim shorts is gonna look great so i'm super excited about this one and i can't what can't wait to wear it on holiday okay guys the next thing i picked up because molly Mag megan hugh i hope i'm pronouncing her name right actually showed this in one of her uh, latest videos and she looked great in it I unfortunately don't look like that um because the trousers don't fit me which is really annoying so I picked up this little jacket which I'm gonna wear this when I'm home from Bali so much like I love this kind of thing it's like a top but it's like a jacket I just think it's so cool and I also think you could wear it undone with a lace bodysuit underneath I feel like that would look really kind of like sexy so i love this i grabbed this in a uk 10 it's like a kind of like um cord kind of material i loved it so much that i actually picked it up in the white as well um i just thought these would be really useful for kind of like the summer weather but when it's not too hot i honestly think they're so cute they're like little western kind of tops i love them so so much um so i'm really happy that i picked both of those up but unfortunately i did actually pick up the matching trousers to wear as like a two-piece with the black top but guys like i'm so confused i've definitely lost a little bit of weight and i would say i've gone down in quite a few of my clothes i even have some shorts right in front of me that um, I bought last year, they were so tight on me, they barely fit me, and I've put them on and they're like a little bit roomy, so feeling really happy and great about that, but I picked these up in a 10 because I just did not think the 12, I thought the 12 would be a bit big on my waist, as you saw from my last Pretty Little Thing haul, I tended to have that issue, but I should have read what sort of material the trousers were made out of, these trousers are made out of like a cord, um, I don't know how else to explain it, so they actually have zero stretch in them, like there's no elastic elasticity to the trouser like none whatsoever so I probably should have picked up the 12 and it's my own fault because I can get them on but I can't do the zip up um I think if the zip was maybe a bit longer it would help me out because it's my bum that I struggle with um but I'm so upset because they're the most beautiful pair of trousers I totally adore these and they have just like a really cool kind of belt and they have like cargo style pockets. I just think they're a change on the cargo trouser. They're just kind of an updated version. And I think with that black top, they would have looked so lovely. So I'm super upset. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know about sizing because I do get comments about like, I'm similar to you or you help me out with my sizes. And I just feel like if you're gonna order these trousers, maybe go up rather than down. I then I have two items left. I have this super fun top that I actually got. My sister has this in a baby pink shade and it's beautiful. Um, I think they were sold out online 
when I went to pick it up, but I got the purple and I still love it. It's so, so nice. It's a really lovely slinky material uh, because this is from the Second Skin Collection and I love this colour. I think it's going to look great with a tan. Um, the nice thing about these is that they're quite thick so you can wear them without a bra, which is lovely. And I just absolutely love the colour of this. I think it's stunning. So this is definitely coming with me to Bali. And then the last top is probably my favourite and the item that I love the most. And it's this little Broadway and Glaze little top. Guys, this is so cute. I actually wore this on a night out with a friend and if I have a photo, I will insert the photo now. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen me wearing it. Um, I didn't tie it at the front. I like wrapped it round, but I would also tie it at the front. Oh, I love it so much. It's like a little white frilly top and you can tie a bow at the front. I think with a lace bodysuit or even just like over a bikini. This is so, so lovely. Um, and it doesn't look like it's from Pretty Little Thing. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but it definitely looks like it's more of like... Um, a boutique -y kind of top which I love and I just this kind of thing is so me it's so girly it's just something I wear in the summer white is my favorite thing ever so I'm really excited to be bringing this with me too okay guys so that was my short and sweet pretty little thing haul I hope you all enjoyed it don't forget to leave me a comment below if you did um I wasn't gonna upload this but I just felt like I wanted to show you a few bits that I picked up just before I went away some people find it kind of useful and it's just I just you know, it's an excuse for me to shop, basically. Like, I feel like I'm showing you guys the stuff. So, um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Any Bali recommendations, please let me know, because fingers crossed this video will go up whilst I'm still out there. Hopefully, you guys will be seeing vlogs and stuff like that as well. Um, I'm so, so excited. So, definitely follow me on my Instagram if you want regular updates. And if not, I will try and update you guys on this channel. I hope you have a great day, week, or evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up, and I will check you... And I will check back in with you guys next time. Bye.